Cheers. Hi, I'm Shez. I'm Gav. And this is our Beneteau Oceanus 430. We made our dream a reality. Welcome aboard to Astrid the Wombat. finally just completed all of the forms required to change the registration over with the Australian um, Marine Safety Agency I think that's what it's called uh, but anyway the Australian registration for the boat so we have it Queensland registered now in our name with our new name for the boat and we had to change the Australian registration over now in here we should have filmed before this but there are nine forms that had to be completed um, stat decks, original um, ship register, all that sort of stuff. And then it gets sent via mail, couldn't do anything online, uh, down and will take three to six weeks to process. We have put the name that we would like the boat to be in here. Um, we had to give three options. We don't think anyone will choose our name, so we're pretty, we're pretty um, sure we'll get it, hopefully, because we've already done the Queensland Reg in that name. But here it is, this has been weeks of work to get these forms completed. It's been a lot. So say goodbye, it's on going in the post. I feel like the forms are more than the boat. Yeah, it's been a lot. <laughs> there they are. That's all I've got to say about it. <laughs> you might notice a few boxes and stuff in our house because we're, this is a whole bunch of dive gear and stuff. <clears throat> We are continuing to pack up. Yeah, we're divesting in crap. We're also uh, less than one month away from picking up the boat and bringing it back now. Mm. Oh, and we've secured a marina berth. And we're insured. And we're insured. And we're registered in Queensland. So it is is real. It's on, people. Gab just hasn't seen the boat yet. Yeah. <laughs> so. I think it's because he likes it. We'll definitely be filming that reaction because, uh, yeah, it could be a bit of a problem ahead. Still Is it going to be a problem? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. I think right. you'll love it. Okay. If, no. if not, I'll just give you drinks until you love it. Okay. All right. The special costs us $29 for 12 months. Oh, wow, that's a good deal. And then you get um, around 30% off every item that you buy through GoPro. Oh, wow. So how much have you got off? I don't know, 30% off the dive housing, 30% off the floater. Right. So tell us about what sort of gear you could buy. I'm getting a uh, the Hero 12 extension pole with waterproof shutter, yeah. which is coming soon. And it just sort of keeps saying coming soon. We're supposed to be here end of September. So GoPro's not shipping it or it's... GoPro doesn't have any in stock. It hasn't arrived yet anywhere in the world. So it yeah. must be held up in manufacturing. Yeah. So it's waterproof to, I can't remember, six metres it might be. Oh, no, the one you're holding is waterproof to five. Um, I can't remember how, to, how much this extension pole is, but the shutter is all waterproof. So if it's storming, we can be, we can have it out and um, be filming and everything with all of it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. What else would you like to tell us today? That way, T minus one week <laughs> until we go up to the boat. Oh, yeah. And you get to see the boat. <laughs> and hopefully, like it. Um, I don't know. Since we last spoke, I've filled out my 16th form for AMSA. Pretty good. 
So there's a form to fill out if you want to fly the red flag as well, the red Australian flag. The ensign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to fill a form out. That's $222 for AMSA. AMSA is always triple digits. 111, 444, 222. That's how all their fees work. I don't think we're going to do that other one because I think they've got enough money. I had to pay $111 to change the port on the registration certificate from Melbourne to Brisbane. Expensive. Mm -hmm. But who wants Melbourne written on their boat, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not us, that's for sure. So, Wilson Fishing has been a client of mine for 15 years, and they've been buying stuff off me every month for 15 years to for office supplies and whatnot. So, today was my big opportunity to spend a little bit of money with them. And I asked them to uh, make me a, a boat rod that was going to be easy uh, to maintain. So no rollers or anything like that because I'm lazy and I don't want to service service the rod. But anyway, so a new fishing rod for, to go with our Penn Senator. So thanks Wilson's Fishing. Much appreciated. Gave me a lure as well. Nice guys. Thanks. So Wilson's Fishing are in Brisbane? But yeah. stocked everywhere? Is that the, is that the good Yeah, manufacturing is in Tingalpa. Yeah. And uh, I don't have a seas as well. But um, basically you can buy Wilson's Fishing Gear in all good fishing shops. You got a condom for your rod then? Yeah. I don't know why. I don't think we'll keep that, but it's nice anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. Good job, yeah. lad. Wilson's Fishing. Now I went to Townsville last week and raced to Big W and got sheets, blankets, What's pillows. Big W for people that don't know what Big W is? Big Woolworths. <laughs> What's Big Woolworths? What about people that don't know what Woolworths is? It's like a Walmart kind of a store. And What about the people that don't know what Walmart is? It's a department store, I think. <laughs> and I've just got all the sheets, blankets, pillows, pillowcases, uh, towels, tea towels, microfiber cloth. Stand still pegs. All matching. Not really. Not really matching. But uh, anyway, got all of that. 400 That was $444. Maybe it's a triple digit number thing happening for me at the moment. So um, for our American friends, that's about $3 of your money. Yeah. And I raced to the boat, threw it all into the boat. <coughs> and uh, so we, that saves us time when we get up there. And now I'm working on our provisioning list. Well, tell us about the list, the provisioning list. I have a lot of lists at the moment. I have a, um, in my notebook here, I have another list, which is just the stuff that doesn't fit into provisioning and all that stuff, like our marina security card, card for when we get back here, our water bottles, the camera gear. I've got that list going. I've also got a meat list that we'll order next Wednesday to pick up Thursday. It'll be cryopacked. And I've got a drinks list. Why oh. do you cryback the meat? I don't know, because you said we wanted to have it cryobacked. We're only in there for a week and we've got a freezer, but it'll save space. But uh, Yeah, if we don't need it, it'll be good for later. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've got a drinks list, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. And then I've got our... Provisioning list. Right. So that's it. Okay, here we are. We are okay, okay, <laughs> okay. heading to our first Bodie's market. <laughs> we're very excited. We don't think we actually need anything, but we're pretty sure we'll find something we need. So uh, we'll share our great finds later on. See ya. Well, hi everybody. Can you tell that it's like four o'clock here and nobody got any sleep? Mm -hmm. In the morning. In the morning, yeah. What are we doing? Well, we just scored ourselves a Trafalgar offshore first aid kit. It's pretty cool. Yeah. From the lovely people at Trafalgar, who are also a supplier for my business, but they were very nice to give us this first aid kit. When they we we have a first aid kit for diving because we're um, a bit OCD about making sure everyone's safe and we can fix people if they uh, if they break. But um, 
we it's just full of you know the, the standard stuff nothing really yachting about it is there oh, i mean it's just basic first aid stuff that we would need and a bit of stuff from from in terms of reef and injuries that you can get on a reef um and like stingers and stuff like that yeah. um <clears throat> includes pocket masks for cpr and all that sort of stuff so we've got some fairly full of things but um so this is the contents of the uh, yeah the i'll just turn this i will have to turn the camera off and then on again we're we're trying a selfie stick for the first time for no reason at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this will all piece yeah. together beautifully when I learn to edit. Ta-da! So this is the contents of our other first aid kit. You'll have to sit down, babe. I can, can't see your face. Oh. can't get you all in the one shot. Oh, hang on, let me go back. There you are. There it is. Dead old a lighter in case we start smoking. Hydrogen peroxide in case you need to dye your hair. <laughs> it's an emergency. Wound spray, yeah. <laughs> Wound spray. Wound wash spray. <laughs> Panadol for hangovers, I suppose. And um, I don't know, just the sort of stuff really. There's yeah. eye wash and some peaks and you know, nothing really amazing. But we're not we're not the people to tell you what you should put in these, by the way. There's organizations that can um, tell yeah, you absolutely gonna... what you need for this offshore cruising. This is our dive kit anyway. This is just our dive kit, yeah. Anyway, this is what the lovely people at Trafalgar decided to give us. And we'll put a link, um, we'll put a link in this below, um, in yeah. our notes so that you put Trafalgar. Um, so this is chock-a-block full of stuff. It's just, we, I don't know whether we, what do we do? Do we catalogue it all and then make sure we don't double up or do we just chuck it all in there and I'll have a list. I'll do an Excel spreadsheet of what we've got, and we have to buy extra stuff to go in there anyway for yeah. when we do go offshore, like long-term passage sailing, which we won't be doing for a few years, that sort of stuff, but apart from our trip back. <laughs> but... Um, <clears throat> Steri strips, gloves. So good. That's so good to us. And it's got all in this um, Pelican box as well, which is what we really like. So it stays dry for 24 hours. Um, keeps things dry for 24 hours if it goes in the water um, and it's easy to grab easy to find Pelican's a brand it's just a it's a Pelican style box yeah okay but what's cool about it is is that moisture won't be able to get in the stuff won't rot hopefully or less rot and uh, we don't know whether we should take stuff out of the boxes or not and label it well or... we, we won't be Let us know in the comments, because I say we should. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. say we shouldn't. I'm medical, but, you know. What would she know? If uh, someone who is non-medical goes in and everything's out of its um, packaging that labels it as what it is, then we've got an issue. Or if I'm doing years first ago, aid. We were sucking the venom out of snake bites. Yeah. Yeah, that was, and now you're telling me. So, you know, I might be right. You mm. might be wrong. Anyway, mm. we'll find out in our first emergency, won't we? Yeah. Well, no, we won't, because they'll all be in their packaging okay. labelled. Hey! Hey! It's Gavin Shez from Astro the Wombat here, and we believe there's someone special in Australia whose birthday it is today. Who is it, Gav? I don't know. Who is it? I think it's Aiden. Ooh! Ooh. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Aiden. Happy birthday to you. Pip pip. Hooray. Pip pip. Hooray. Pip pip. Hooray. And Aiden, you've won for your birthday the opportunity to come and have a holiday on Astrid the Wombat. So congratulations and to everyone else out there and all of our subscribers. It's just for him though, right? Just for him. Yeah. <laughs> all our subscribers and, and followers, you too can send in for birthday wishes and if we draw you out then you'll be as lucky yeah. as Aiden is today. Like and subscribe, go to our Patreon page. We appreciate all your help guys. Happy birthday Aiden. Woo! Woo! Lift your top up for everybody. What do we have to do? Lift your top up for everybody to see. Oh no, you don't do that. Like and subscribe. <laughs>